Hi, Ice Talks fans, team broadcaster Mike Fulta here, and I'm joined by new Blackhawks draft pick and new Ice Hogs signee, Marcel. Marcel, Marcel, how are you? How's the offseason going? Uh, um, thank you for welcoming me. Yeah, I'm doing really good. I'm enjoying my time with my family here in Czech for two weeks, and then I'm coming back to North, uh, US, North America. You guys are, I think, what, seven hours ahead over uh, over in Czech right now. What uh, what's uh, the offseason look like for you uh, back home? Um, so I'm just going on the ice mostly like every day and going to the gym, you know, getting ready for a season. Yeah, so then I'm trying to do some other sports like uh, tennis and golf, yeah, trying to learn new things. Nice. That, that that sounds fun. Sounds a little little relaxing for you. You had a pretty pretty huge moment a couple of weeks ago where you you got drafted by the Blackhawks, uh, and then you signed that contract with the Ice Hawks. What um, what was that like signing your first North American professional contract? It was exciting. It was it was always my dream to like to play in the USA. I like the smaller ring, so I always wanted to go play in the USA when I was younger. So yeah, it was a pretty exciting moment, and I can't wait to be there. You, you got a year of uh, of hockey in the QMJHL. You also played at World Juniors. Uh, all of that's against some younger guys. You're a, you're a much bigger guy. Did you feel physically like you were ready to take the next step and play against professionals? Oh uh, yeah, I I feel I feel ready for that, and it's gonna be challenging for sure. Like the guy's gonna be strong as me, maybe stronger some of them. So it's gonna be more challenging than playing against uh, younger guys or guys in my age. They list you uh, right around, I think, 240, at, at 240 pounds as your weight. Is that what you clock in at? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, it's, it's During the season, it's like around 240, 245. I played the World Juniors and the, the playoffs I played on 250. So, yeah, I feel, I feel good with this weight. I feel I'm pretty fast for that, so it's okay. Well, it, it felt like World Juniors was where you kind of maybe announced to the hockey community that uh, that you could be a force, uh, even playing over here in in, uh, in North America. Are you uh, are you big on the weights and big on lifting? Because you're just incredibly developed for a for a young player. Yeah, I do. I I have a big leg, so I definitely can lift some. I can squat some heavy weights. You know, the, the legs feed feed the wolf. So <laughs> that's the quote. Well, why don't why don't you introduce yourself a little bit to uh, to the Ice Hawks fans? Introduce your style of play, uh, but maybe also introduce us to some things that you're going to be working on to improve to get to the NHL. Oh yeah, so like for sure, I'm going to work like to get everything faster because I'm a big guy. So I'm not super fast with the first three steps, but once I can, once I get in the high speed, it's uh, sometimes it's hard to stop me. <laughs> yeah, but like. Mostly, I'm using my 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 body for the hockey. So, you know, physical guy, defensive guy. I have a long stick, so I have a long reach. I'm, I start playing a center here in Canada. So, you know, defensive guy, part vanilla kill guy, being in front of the net. Yeah. Now you you play a little bit professionally over in Czech, is that right? Oh yeah. Kind of. well, you were playing against men in, in those leagues. Do you feel like that experience is going to help you kind of prepare for, you know, playing against professionals here in the AHL? No, I don't think so. Because, like, I played like 19 or 20 games, but most of the games I played like five minutes, eight minutes per game. So it was it was nothing. And, you know, I played fourth line with some young guys, so we didn't really touch the puck. So, I, like, it was a great experience, but I don't think... I don't think it's going to help me for the AHL because I, I'm also a little bit different player than I was back in Czech here. Back in Czech, I was more like, uh, you know, like hitting guys and blocking shots and all that. I still do that, but in Canada, they they helped me like to improve in the more like hockey hockey skills and be like more playmaker and not be, not to be scared to, to make some play or something. So... I'm definitely a different player than I was when I was playing pro in Czech. And yeah, I, I had like 20 games, but I don't know. I don't know. We, can, we cannot really count it. it was, my average was like seven minutes per game. So I played like first 
in the first period I played like five shifts and then in the third period I played a couple of shifts. So it was not really much playing, but it was a great experience. Well, we're excited to get you over here and uh, and, and get uh, you thrown into the Rockford Ice Hogs action. I know it must have been exciting for you getting drafted by the Blackhawks uh, just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I, I think you told some reporters earlier that you were in the bathroom when uh, when your name popped up. Can, can you kind of retell yeah. that story for us a little bit? Yeah, yeah, I got the I got the the video. I showed it at the, at the development camp. Yeah, I was I was I was watching the draft with, with my bullet family in Canada, with my girlfriend and my girlfriend's family there, and some friends of my bullets. And I, I just checked the time. I was like, I saw that the fifth round started, so I was like. I'm gonna just go on the toilet because I, I thought I'm gonna be like maybe a middle or after the middle of for fifth round, around fifth, sixth round. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go on the toilet and check the fifth round. And then I was literally coming, I sat on the couch and my blue mom, she was watching on the phone, so it was a little bit faster than than on the TV. And she was like, Oh, you were drafted and then she started being crazy. I was like, I didn't get it because I couldn't see the name there. So it took me a bit, but then my phone went crazy and I got like 50 calls and everybody was calling me. Yeah, it was, it was great. And she caught it on uh, on iPad. She put iPad there, so she record, uh, record all of that and I got the video. It's, it's a really nice memory. That's, that's incredible. It looked like you and your Billet family were really close. Uh, I think they were there watching you and rooting you on at World Juniors. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. They they came from uh, Gatineau to Halifax. Like, but 16 hours, it was a uh, snowy at the time, so it was like 16 hours drive. So they came there for the regular season, the regular group. They saw the quarterfinals. Then they had to leave for uh, semifinals. And when they saw we won in the semifinals, I was still in the skates. Like I just took my phone. I was just like texting my family. I was like literally still in the locker room dressed up. And she was just calling me on FaceTime. She was like, hey, Marcy, we're coming. Make sure you're going to get us tickets, but we are coming. This is once in a life. Like, I have to be there. So she drove again there. It was like in one week, she drove like, I don't know, like four times to, two times to Halifax and back. So great. Yeah, but yeah, I call her crazy and <laughs> she, she, she introduced herself a bit crazy too, so. Well, that's maybe it's not crazy. It's it's dedicated. It's it's dedicated. Yeah, yeah but she's <laughs> fun. she's funny. So yeah, sometimes. Well, and, and you know, we can't let this interview slip away. I have to ask about your name, Marcel. Marcel. Oh, okay. uh, I think you mentioned uh, to reporters before. You know, sometimes growing up, maybe kids making fun of you. I don't think they're making fun of you now that you're uh, drafted by the Blackhawks and uh, and uh, about to be playing playing pro hockey here. But it is pretty unique. Have you ever met anybody else with with two names like that? Uh, yes, yeah, but some like some people are like Peter Pavel is the, the president of Czech Republic, but it's not like a, some tradition in Czech Republic. It's not it's just like, I don't know, randomly. And then there's a guy, he's one year older. He, his name is Ivan Ivan, and he was playing in, the, in Canada too, and he's from Czech too, but it's not like uh, anything like Czech tradition or something, but yeah, and it, it all started because my older brother was supposed to be a uh, Marcel Marcel, but at the time the, the government didn't allow it somehow. I don't know why. So he's Patrick Marcel. And then, you know, when they go to a doc, see doctor or something, sometimes in Czech, they switch like the first name, they put as a second and your second as a first. So once happened that they called my mother, uh, Mrs. Patrick. So, you know, it's, it's a mess. So yeah, I think it's, I think it's cool. Like, Everybody can think what they want to, but some people think that it's stupid. Some people think it's funny. Some people think it's it's cool. I think it's good. Yeah, yeah. I I think I think it's awesome. There's a lot you can do with that, and you're going to be the only ice hog with their first name on the back of their jersey. So yeah. <laughs> you'll uh, you'll have that going for you, Marcel. We appreciate the time, man. Thanks for uh, doing this interview with us here in the off season, and uh, we're excited to get you over here in uh, in the state line area and uh, get you seeing. Get to see yeah. you on the ice. So uh, enjoy the rest of the off season. We'll see you soon. I can't wait to be there. Thank you very much.